Thomas worked very hard, but he wished that he could pull coaches filled with passengers instead of just pushing empty coaches around the yard. One morning, Thomas's wish was granted. Henry was too sick to pull his morning route, and Thomas was the only engine left in the station. You'll have to pull Henry's train, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt. We are counting on you, and no tricks. Yes, sir, Thomas hurried away. He just knew he could do as good a job as any of the big engines. Calm down, Thomas, said his driver. Really useful engines are patient and careful with their work. But Thomas didn't pay him any mind. Then, without waiting for the all-clear signal, he chugged out of the station. Thomas puffed along the line. He was very proud of himself. When he reached a stop signal, he slowed down in a huff. Why should a speedy like me have to wait for a pesky signal, he thought. Peep, peep, he whistled impatiently. The signal man came running out. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing out of the yard, he asked. Can't you see? I'm pulling Henry's coaches, peeped Thomas. I don't see any coaches. Thomas had left them behind at the station. Thomas was so disappointed that he almost cried. Don't worry, Thomas, said his driver. We'll go back and get the coaches straight away. Thomas went back and got the coaches. He waited until the coaches were properly hitched. Soon, they were back on schedule. At each station, Thomas was very careful to let all the passengers on and off. Thank you, Thomas, they said. When Thomas got back to the yard that night, he was very tired. Pulling coaches was harder than he had thought. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for him, trying not to smile. You did just fine, Thomas. Once you remembered to get the coaches, 